Good morning. Uh, today is a Friday. We'll review what happened here the other night at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on a one hour time frame. We have a typical decaying crackle here. Okay. Now, I was in bed. Couldn't do too much about that. Now, as we go through the day, got up a little late. Okay. Uh, we have a nested growth fractal right here. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right. That would be a setup, which I noted. And I went long. Uh, here's your parameters here. Uh, below, uh, you would do a trade going long, otherwise you go long. But a sell stop times two as a hedge. So when you do a trade, you need a hedge. Okay. So you put your stops on the fractal there. It's a fractal object. And what you're trying to do is locate a fractal object on a specific time frame. Okay. And I waited patiently. Okay. I had my entry point on the bottom there. I got filled. I am long now. Look what happened. Bottom tick. Okay. So now you wait and made it 80, 80 bucks. Okay. That's good. Uh, now don't don't forget the hedge. You need that uh, sell stop. And there's Neil pointing out the uh, fractal on a daily time chart for Japan. It's looking for a top. Confirmation would be a, a, a good spike down. Okay. There's our original trade there. Okay. Profits are climbing. Uh, again, I'm not bragging here. I'm just pointing out what uh, is happening to the trade. Now, when you have a profit here, okay, uh, it's fine. You can take the profit. You can take the 300 bucks, okay, or uh, you can hang on to the trade and raise a stop. All right, and the profits keep accruing. And there's our original, oh, from Walmart from last week. I did post that over the weekend. Okay, uh, I mentioned that was a, uh, a growth fractal. Uh, now, imagine if you bought an option on that stock. Okay, now with the fractals, uh, you can trade equities, options, forex, whatever, any instrument. Okay, but uh, here's a good example of a growth fractal. Again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, going back to our original trade, there is the count. Now, I'm labeling the fractals for you, right? So, when you see a similar fractal in the future on another instrument, okay, that denotes a turn, all right? Here's the bottom, and here's the top, all right? Currently, we're long. Okay, uh, profits uh, are occurring, and they're getting larger, and they're getting larger. Now, during the interim, you can take the profit here or the profit there, and you can trim your profits anytime you want. All right, that's the beauty of fractals. Okay, here's the original count of the growth fractal. I did label it for you again. If you find that form on another financial instrument, it indicates a turn. The market is chaos. Okay, there is no order. The only order that appears would be a fractal. Okay. It indicates a turn. Sometimes it could go up seven, sometimes nine, eleven. All you have to do is raise the stop.
right? And let's continue. Or you can book it, all right? Uh, the key to what we're doing here, we're trying to find a fractal object on a time frame for a turn. We did that at 2 o'clock in the morning the other night, and we did it in the morning today, all right? There's our original growth fractal, right? That's my count. Okay, profits are accruing. And they're accruing. We're getting larger. Now we have uh, a seven up here, but again, it should go up to uh, nine or 11, all right? Uh, the way to handle that, uh, again, you just just uh, raise the stock. I said maybe, and we're mapping the market. We're getting close to decay. Okay, waiting, waiting, and then boom. Okay, we got a grand there. All you got to do is raise the stop. Okay, uh, again, uh, when you're looking at your uh, platform, I look at how much is accruing. Okay. And if you made thirteen hundred bucks, uh, I would take it. Okay, there's a fractal from Neil. He's looking at the Dow. He found seven ways up, indicating a top for now. Now, our original uh, seven way fractal is uh, growing. All right, we have another leg up. Uh, too much money on a table, I took it off, okay? Now we have a nine up. Uh, Neil caught the five minute Dow talk. Seven waves up. All you have to do, you count the legs up. Okay, this is very typical. Uh, you have five legs up, and a longer leg up on the final top, and boom. Now, imagine if you're trading options, okay? You don't have to spend uh, 10, 20, 30 uh, grand on, on the account. You can buy a simple option. And uh, I think that's about it for today. Uh, not sure what the market is doing right now. Uh, oh. Futures are down uh, two points. I'm out, right? That's the point. You make a small profit every day, and you become consistent. Uh, naturally, some trades are going to change. It doesn't mean you're right or wrong. The market is changing directions. So you move with the market, and you map the market. Uh, the futures now, they're flat. But I'm out. I don't have to worry about anything. I can go golfing now, and I'm done for today. Uh, total uh, total uh, time uh, involved in uh, today's trade is uh, about two hours. All right, so we made a grand in two hours. Now, if you can do that every day, uh, you're making a good living, okay? Happy weekend. Thank for Nikki from ElliotPractos.com. I'm also on X.com, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. If you want more information, go there. Uh, in the following week, uh, we'll be publishing uh, fractal notes on a weekly basis, so you can uh, understand this more clearly. But uh, it's all visual, and all you have to do is I woke up this morning, I looked at my monitor, uh, you see the fractals, the reoccurring, they happen all the time in every market, okay? So all you have to do, have a good uh, eyeballs, and uh, you can do a trade. Hank Nikki, signing off.